Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're going to be breaking down the Warforged Strike Force Salamanders Battle Force box set. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. So here we have the new release of the Warforged Strike Force. A uh, very cool name. Let's take a look at what's inside. 27 total miniatures. Alright, so here we have the full contents of the box. Uh, so just right off the bat, we have a unit of 10 intercessors and another unit of 10 intercessors. We have Adrax Agatone, and then we have three aggressors and three eradicators as well. So we'll go ahead and break down. First off, we're going to take a look at the points and what all I would change in this box set or add into this box set if I was growing an army. Also, is it viable as an army? And then finally, we're going to take a look at the value and savings as well. All right. So first off the bat, we're going to take a look at Adrax Agatone. Uh, so he is basically an auto-include for Salamander players. He comes in at 130 points, but his stats, weapons, and equipment are all stacked. So right off the bat, he does have his special Thunder Hammer. Uh, it is double strength, so it takes him up to 8 strength with minus 3 AP, and it does 4 damage. Uh, it does have a minus one to hit, which is unfortunate, but that takes him from a two to hit down to a three. Uh, but with his five attacks standard on his profile and four damage, this thing has some definite potential to do some serious damage in combat. Uh, but overall, he is a buffing character uh, that also is extremely good in combat. So his true strength is not only just him by himself, but also the synergy he provides to your close by salamanders as well. So your core units within six inches, uh, if they made a charge, heroic intervention, etc. on that turn, they're going to have plus one to the attack's wound roll, which is pretty awesome. So anybody core in your army, normally strength four against toughness four, you're going to be wounding on threes instead. Uh, he does have an iron halo for a four up invulnerable save. And then also he has damage reduced by one, which helps out with his survivability. And then back to his buffing capabilities, uh, he has his Rites of Battle Aura, which gives all friendly salamanders within six inches that are core uh, reroll hit rolls of one. And then finally, we have his Lord of Fire Aura ability as well. That's his Warlord trait. So whenever you're determining the number of attacks made by flame weapons for friendly salamanders models uh, within six, you can reroll the dice. So he basically lets you reroll all of your flame weapons. So in this case, if you're keeping your aggressors near him and you're using the Flamestorm aggressors, uh, you being able to re-roll those dice rolls, any like ones or twos you get, uh, you can obviously get a better chance at rolling them up into something better. Not a bad ability. Honestly, is his Warlord trait worth taking? I mean, since you have to pay for it, it really depends on your overall composition of your army, but I would say probably not. I think the plus one to wound on the charge is very very good for core units so that's really where the strength is going to come through so in the case of something like those same aggressors uh, if they were on the charge coming in with their strength eight fists against a toughness four opponent they're going to be wounding on twos but anything higher than toughness four they're going to need threes or if they're toughness eight fours uh, this is going to take it back down to twos if they're higher than toughness four or threes if it is double so on to the intercessors next. This box includes two 10-man units of intercessors. These can be fielded as 200 to 260 points, depending on what upgrades you take. Uh, they come with some melee weapons already in the kit, and then you have the option to add on a grenade launcher and some other various pieces of equipment. You're probably going to want to run some kind of melee weapon in these squads. Uh, I prefer a thunder hammer, but you could potentially go with the power fist or something like that. You also have some pistol options as well. Depending on how you equip the intercessors, uh, they're going to come out to 200 to max about 260 points if you broke them down into two five-man squads per 10 and then gave a combat weapon to each of them and also a pistol and pretty much any upgrades available to them. So it's not realistic to see that you're going to get 260 points each out of them, uh, but there is potential for it. On to the Eradicators next. You have three Eradicators in the set. They come in at about 135 to 155 points. Again, depending what equipment you go with. Uh, all their Melta weapons are pretty strong. So it's not really a huge difference either way. 
depending if you want the mobility and you're willing to give up a couple of shots to not take a minus one to hit with the heavy weapons or if you would rather just have the heavy weapons and stay a little less mobile i can go with the multi melta but essentially somewhere around 135 to 155 for those and then also we have the aggressors aggressors are going to come in at 120 to 135 depending on what you equip them with uh, they're already geared up for combat and then the real choice is do you want the bolt storm weapons or the flame storm weapons either one's fine i would say for a salamander's army especially if you're taking the warlord trait you're going to want to go with the flame weapons and then finally we have a salamander's upgrade frame in there as well uh, so that's going to have a bunch of cool flavorful like shoulder pads and everything for your intercessors it doesn't specifically say if you're going to get one or two of these so it could be up to two of the salamander upgrade sprues uh, which will give you enough shoulder pads for all of the models that come in this set this one actually needs the upgrades a lot more than the other ones do because you have essentially every model in the set except for adrax uh, that has the ability to use these special shoulder pads upgrade bits thunder hammers uh, the backpack bits etc so total points when we add it all up is between 785 and 940 it's probably going to come in a little closer to the lower end of the range but you have roughly a thousand points right here i would count on putting in one more unit to kind of fill out a thousand point army depending what you're going for you're going to have a lot of troops in this setup and honestly i don't think this is the most ideal way to build a salamander's army I do think the Aggradicators and the Aggressors are nice. I do think Adrax is nice as well. But the truth is, you're probably not going to want 20 Intercessors. I understand that they're kind of going for the durable units and it's going to work out with the secondaries. We'll have to see exactly how those secondaries develop and all of the new rules and changes, point changes, etc. coming out in the next few days or weeks. But the truth is, you're probably not going to want to take 20 Intercessors unless something has changed. And more likely than not, even if you do want multiple units of troops in your army, you're probably going to want some kind of diversity. It's nice to have some forward troops, something like infiltrators or incursors. The infiltrators also block out deep striking, which is nice as well. Uh, I think, honestly, there's just way too many intercessors in this set. If it came with 10, it's acceptable. For sure, you could get away with that. But putting 20 in a box set just feels overall lazy and borderline disrespectful. I understand that part of the issue with these box sets for Space Marines is the fact that there's still a big gap in the Space Marine range if you're only playing with Primaris. And whether or not you've noticed, Games Workshop, when they put out these boxes, pretty much only ever put out Primaris Marines in them. So they really miss out because you can't actually build a great army currently in Warhammer 40k for Space Marines without using some of the firstborn stuff. Uh, the primaris still don't have good like assault or jump troops and they also don't have like a terminator they sort of have like some kind of equivalents but nothing nearly as durable as actual terminators and the truth is i think for salamanders probably the best unit is for them going to be a terminator unit if the idea is to put them on an objective and just have them be super durable you want your most durable troops on that objective and that's going to be terminators there's also some cool psychic powers you can buff them up with and make them even more durable so i have to say that i think honestly 20 intercessors is a mistake and now a quick message from this week's sponsor this video is sponsored by cmogames.com where you can get 15 percent off most games workshop pre-orders and they go live right at midnight saturday mornings cmogames.com offers free shipping on orders over $25 in the US 48 and most orders ship within 24 hours. cmogames.com has been selling Games Workshop products online for more than 20 years and customer service is their top priority. cmogames.com carries the full line of Games Workshop products including 40k, Age of Sigmar, Kill Team, Warcry, Paints, Hobbies, and Tools. Visit cmogames.com using the affiliate link in the description below so they know you heard about cmogames.com from Warhammer Man Studios. Now back to the video. So now on to the actual value of this box set. So we have Adrax Agatone coming in at $42. 10 Intercessors is 60 bucks a piece. So two sets of them is 120. Then we have three Eradicators for 55, three Aggressors for 55, and then at least one Salamanders upgrade pack, possibly two so that you have enough shoulder pads for everyone uh, coming in at $27. So the MSRP on this box set is $299 possibly 
as high as 326 if there are two of the upgrade sets in there but we're going to go with the 299 the estimated retail price will be 210 dollars same as the recent box sets that came out for christmas and the overall savings comes in right at about 30 percent so this is on the lower end of savings and it also includes 20 intercessors so if you're brand new to space marines maybe you want 20 intercessors but likely if you already play space marines or have any at all you probably already have intercessors so this is going to be complete overkill so the truth is when it's all said and done sure there's a lot of savings in this box set but you may just end up with a pile of plastic that you really didn't want and honestly if you were going to build this from the start right off the bat and you wanted still the eradicators the aggressors and adrax and then you're going to kind of go from there you're basically at about 160 or so dollars so the real question is do you want two squads of intercessors because if you don't this is not the box for you overall i think this is a decent box i like that it comes with the aggressors and the eradicators and adrax but again the redundancy of the intercessors is just too much not only is this poor construction but it also just feels super lazy on games workshop's part they could have easily just put a second unit in there and made it in cursor slash infiltrators or something else they didn't have to go with 20 intercessors and it's just complete overkill so in my opinion this box fails on that alone uh, the truth is pretty much any of the value that you get by buying this box together is eaten up by the fact that you're probably going to end up with 10 extra intercessors so of the new space marine boxes i have to say i think this is the worst one and i really don't recommend this for people um, if you like everything in the box set if you don't have any space marines and you don't mind having a couple extra intercessors or possibly running a heavy intercessor army or maybe there's some intercessor changes coming and i just don't know about it and all of a sudden they're going to be amazing and people are going to be spamming them maybe this is a box for you but the truth is in the current game state how things are right now i think this is the worst of the new boxes and the fact that it has 20 intercessors completely destroys the value and also desirability of this box so let me know what you think down below maybe i'm missing something here but i really just don't see any world where we want 20 intercessors especially not in a thousand point or less army let alone in 2000 points as always if you are a salamanders player uh, let me know what you think down below what would be some good units to go along with this obviously melta and flame weapons have benefits to salamander armies so pretty much anything that's taking melta weapons or flame weapons is going to be better than your alternatives which means that you're probably going to be up close and personal so maybe you want to put in a redemptor dreadnought or something like that maybe you want a couple of more aggressors or something like that uh, but the truth is this box set is just not a good place to start special thanks to cmo games for sponsoring this video but that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for our salamanders review um, overall i'm just not impressed by this box set and uh, i think putting 20 intercessors in any box set is a mistake in my opinion it's just downright lazy so that's it for today warhammer man studios i'm warhammer man and i'm out of here